welcome back friends let's continue learning the stm to controller programming in last video we explained the code of the pwm project today we are going to do another interesting pwm project in our first stm to project we have created a blinking led program right the led was just turning on and off there but what if we can control the brightness while it is turning on and what if we can turning it off by reducing the brightness slowly like you can see in the screen so put your glasses on and let's dive first i am creating a new stm32 project i am using nucleo g474 board so we can click on the board selector i am typing g474 i am selecting my board here so it is a nucleo g474 board now we can click next I'm giving a project name LED PWM. Now we can click finish. Yes, we have to initialize all the peripherals in default mode. So I'm clicking yes here. We got our STM cube window now. Okay. So here we can configure our microcontroller in a graphical interface. So we don't need to write a big bundle of code. So what are we going to do? We are controlling brightness of user LED connected to PFI pin. We know already that PF5 is connected with a general purpose timer, timer 2 channel. So let's select that here. Just left click on the PF5 text using your mouse and we can select him to CH1. It means we are selecting timer 2 channel 1. Now as usual we can verify the clock sources. Uh, so go to system core and under RCC, RCC means reset and clock control. Okay. Just verify that you have this configuration. Yeah, we are good to go. Now we can play with timer settings. So under timer section, click Tim2. Uh, slave mode is disabled already. Fine. Next is clock source. We can select internal clock. We are using uh, channel 1 as a PWM generation channel. Next, we can move to parameter settings down below. We have to set the prescaler and error value here. Already we have calculated these values for our previous projects. As you can see in the Excel sheet, uh, for a time base of 1 millisecond and a timer clock of 170 megahertz, we have to use a prescaler of 2 and uh, error value 1 less than 56,667. Okay, let's fill these values here. If you have any doubts on calculating timer parameters, you can refer my previous video on the timer and clocks. Okay, let's enable the auto reload preload feature. Down below for the PWM generation mode, I am selecting PWM mode 1. Pulse we can keep 0 because uh, we are adjusting the duty cycle using the code section. Okay. Rest of the parameters you can keep the default values as shown in my screen. Next quickly we can go to clock configuration. HC clock is 170 MHz. One thing to note the is for the timer clock we should get 170 MHz. If you are using Nucleo G474, you can blindly follow same settings as shown in the screen. If you are using any other Nucleo or Discovery board, you have to refer the bus which is connected to your general purpose timer. It would be described in the data sheet. I have already explained about this in the previous video on the clock and timer. You can check out that video on the info button on the top. Anyway, for a G474 a nuclear board, uh, our timer is been connected to APB2 bus. So that's all about our configuration part. Let's switch to the project manager window. Keep the default settings here. Okay, now we can generate the code. It can be done in two ways. Simply we can click on the save button or other ways you can click on the device configuration tool code generation icon here. This icon looking like a gear and piston. Is that a piston? Okay, whatever. Now STM is generating code for us. Firstly, we should go to the main function of our program which you can find in main.c file. Go here in project explorer window and under core folder then in src folder you can get main.c file. Double click to open it. Scroll down for the main function here. First, we can start the timer 2 in PWM mode. You can use this HL function for that. First argument is the timer handle. STM already declared that in the global section of this file. Second argument is timer channel number. We are using channel 1, so type here Tim channel 1. We are protecting this execution with the error handler. It is not mandatory, but still we can do this to keep a so-called professionalism. <laughs> okay, so we started our timer 2 in PWM mode. Now it is uh, waiting to accept the duty cycle. Our objective is we have to increase and decrease brightness of the user LED very slowly. This can be done by increasing or decreasing duty cycle of the waveform generated at the PFI pin. 
for adjusting duty cycle we can create a 16 bit variable i am calling it as brightness okay we can initialize that to zero how to set the duty cycle for the pwm channel we can use this hl function we know the timer handle and uh, timer channel is one third argument is the duty cycle value it is the brightness variable we are going to use here so now we have set this as zero sorry i forgot the ampersand symbol here for this handle we started with zero duty cycle let's put this in another while loop we can increase the duty cycle maximum up to the error value right so i am giving this condition here let's move this line inside so we should increase brightness in each iteration it can be in steps of uh, 100 we can do this iteration in every one millisecond okay i'm adding this delay of one millisecond why this delay is required and why one millisecond can anybody say that or i will explain that in the code explanation video which i will be releasing in a few days okay next we have to reduce duty cycle so let's duplicate this code block and uh, we can decrease duty cycle or brightness value so it can be greater than zero and here it should be minus 100 that's all let's build it okay click on this hammer button here uh, mm, yeah zero errors and zero warning good now we can execute the program so first connect our nuclear board to the laptop right click on our uh, project and click on debug as stm32 application so keep the default settings and click ok it's uh, loading the program into microcontroller okay yeah we got this view click on this play button to run the program now we can see the led on the nuclear board perfect it is slowly moving to full brightness and then dimming slowly yeah it will be more interesting if you see that in the logic analyzer window also Yeah, you can see the on time is increasing slowly and then it is uh, decreasing don't you see that yeah marvelous yeah if you want even slower pace in uh, getting full brightness you can reduce this value let's use uh, 50 here and check great now it is slower just try this and let me know how easy it was and uh, if you are stuck at somewhere please let me know in comments if you want to build a career in embedded systems especially in stm32 arm platform you can follow this tutorial series i am explaining each peripheral of microcontroller with an example project and there will be a code explanation video for each of the project where i will be explaining the theoretical concepts behind the project you can recommend this to your colleagues and friends too so let's meet again in the next video bye